Hello friends, today we shall discuss educational psychology, its meaning, definitions, nature and scope. Let us discuss the first meaning of educational psychology. It is a branch of psychology in which findings of psychology are applied in the field of education. It is scientific study of human behavior. Next definitions. According to Charles E. Skinner, educational psychology deals with the behavior of human beings in educational situations. Another definition, according to E. A. Peel, according to E. A. Peel, educational psychology is the science of education. Now, let us conclude the definitions. Thus, education by all means is an attempt to mould and shape the behaviour of the people. It aims to produce desirable changes in an individual for the all-round development of the personality. The essential knowledge and skill to do this job satisfactorily is supplied by educational psychology. Next, let us discuss about the nature of educational psychology. First point, educational psychology is a science. Educational psychology is a science. It aims at understanding, predicting and controlling human behavior. Second point, educational psychology is a natural science. An educational psychology is a natural science in the sense an educational psychologist conducts his or her investigations and gathers the data and reaches conclusions as exactly the same manner as physicist and as the biologist. Third point, educational psychology is a social science. The educational psychology helps to study human beings and their sociability like anthropologist, economist and sociologist. Fourth point, educational psychology is a positive science. Educational psychology studies the child's behavior as it is, not as it ought to be. So, it is a positive science. Fifth point, educational psychology is an applied science. Educational psychology tries to study the behavior and experiences of the pupils by applying the principles and techniques of psychology. As a branch of psychology, it is parallel to any other applied psychology. Sixth point, educational psychology is a developing science. It is concerned with new research findings to get better insight into the child's nature and behavior. Now, coming to the next part, scope of educational psychology. Here, the first point, the learner. There is a need for knowing the learner as it is knitted around the learner. The dimensions include 
the innate abilities and capacities of the individuals individual differences among the learner the overt covert conscious as well as unconscious behavior of the learner growth and development second point the learning experience educational psychology helps in deciding the desirable learning experiences to be provided so very important points next the third point learning process educational psychology helps to know ways and means of effective learning by incorporating laws principles and theories of learning fourth point learning situation or environment environmental factors and learning situation play a vital role between the learner and the teacher for example classroom climate and group dynamics techniques and aids facilitate learning and evaluation guidance and counseling helps for smooth functioning of the teaching learning process fifth point the teacher educational psychology helps to know the role of the teacher properly in the process of education it focuses on the essential personality traits interests aptitudes effective teaching strategies for inspiring to become a successful teacher now the sixth point it studies human behavior in educational situations psychology is the study of behavior and education deals with the modification of behavior therefore educational psychology covers the whole field of education seventh point growth and development of the child how the child passes the stages of growth and development from womb to tomb and characteristics of each stage are included eighth point individual differences every individual exhibits his or her own unique characteristics and behavior and differs from each other is the fundamental facts of human nature studied by educational psychology so please keep in mind all these things and prepare the notes of yourself and study well thank you thank you 